Thank you for joining us. My name is Sean Friesen. I'm the franchise partner with Expedia Cruises Team Friesen. Thank you for joining us for our World Explorer journey through all the amazing bucket list places you need to go and cruise lines you need to cruise on. And this is one of our one of our favorite partners here as Amara. We're joined by Margarita, who has just joined um, uh, uh, the brand uh, during COVID. So um, great, great friend, great partner. She's going to walk us through these beautiful four boutique ships, 684 to 700 passengers. For those of you who are done with sailing with 3,000, 4,000, this is your cruise line. So I'm going to turn it over to Margarita. Thank you for joining us. Walk Thank us you, Sean. Brand. <laughs> so I am Margarita with Azamara. I cover Eastern Canada. And as Sean said, I did get hired during the fantastic pandemic, which I feel so blessed to have been able to join the company. As he says, we have four boutique ships. So uh, carrying between 680 and 700 guests with a crew of 400. Um, we've got the pursuit, the quest, the journey, and the new onward. So we're really happy to have all four ships in the water. We have changed our brand marketing, and we really want to make this statement a bold statement of who we are. So Azamara lets explorers immerse themselves in cultures and locales at a more relaxed pace, discovering destinations by day and night resulting in a richer, more fulfilling small cruise experience. And I love that about us because we are not rushed. You get closer to the destination because of the size of the ship. And you also get to explore more of the region because we do get so close and stay longer in port. Where do we go? All over the world. So I am limiting uh, this talk today on three specific destinations. One will be Greece. One, South Africa with Mikado uh, post or pre-cruise experience. And then why not talk about the world when we have a world voyage in 2024? So as I said, we do go further. We have smaller, um, less traveled ports. So we get you right into the heart of these destinations. Anything after 8 p.m. is considered a late night stay. And we have 275 late night stays and 140 overnight stays. We have curated shore excursions, pre and post land excursions. So we do really like to dive into that culture and we consider ourselves a destination immersive brand. So what are our pillars? Of course, the immersive experiences. We own the night because we stay in ports overnight. Um, we have country intensive voyages, whether or not it is Greece, South Africa, or maybe it's France, Spain, many, many ports in Europe. Nobody does Europe like we do. And I have a couple of slides to show you exactly how close we get to the destination. So we go to ports that the bigger ships simply cannot get to. The other nice thing about us is our crew are friendly, they are approachable, they are helpful. We have consistently rated number one in hospitality among all the premium brands. Um, and we do have an authentic, warm experience. International cultures on board, we've got 50 different international um, countries that are employed on board our ship and people will follow our crew on social media, they will call and say who is the captain of that ship at that time, and that sometimes is how they make the decision on where they're going to go. So our crew plays a huge part. And then these unique experiences, as I said, we curate our cultural experiences based on what our clients um, really want to see. Our as amazing evenings are coming back next year. That is when we take everybody from on board the ship to a fantastic, unique experience, whether or not it's a can-can show in France, um, perhaps opera singing in Italy. It is a once in a lifetime experience and we take everybody on board. Right now we have our destination um, celebrations where we bring everything on board the ship. But coming back in 2023, where we're so excited to have our as amazing evenings. So this is just one of the examples that we had in Uruguay. Um, it was a carnival experience. And you can see there's everybody from the ship looking at our wonderful cruise director, Tony, as he's introducing the local talent. So let's just go through the ships really quickly before we dive into the itineraries. 
it is a boutique hotel. So we like to think of it as um, very warm, very friendly, and very easy to find your way around. So this is the main entrance where you will board the ship. There is the guest relations right behind us. As you walk up the steps and to the left, there's Mosaics Cafe. To the right, there's a number of different um, shops available. So it is a, a really warm and friendly environment on board. As far as suite accommodations, we tend to book from the top suites down. So if you are looking for specifically the spa suite, which is one of our favorite suites on board, book early because there is such limited availability for these suites. Then we go into our Club Continent Suite, which is our introductory level suites. And I like to start with the suites because that is where we get the most interest. People like the balconies, they like the amenities. Our suite accommodations, you'll see in the larger picture on the right hand side, a bar setup. And that is included when you have suite accommodations. Also included is butler service. We have complimentary specialty dining when you're in a suite. You also receive complimentary laundry, one bag of laundry for every day is at sea. And there are all of these fantastic amenities. When you get into the higher end suites, like the world owner suite, there is also onboard credit as well. Then we have our Club Veranda. This is incredibly popular. We have Club Veranda and Club Veranda Plus, and that's sort of if you're not quite ready for a suite, but you still want the balcony to have as you pull into port, have that own experience or having a cocktail on the balcony with um, uh, underneath the stars, having a, a pre pre-bed cocktail, it is fantastic to have that experience. But we do also have uh, ocean view staterooms and inside staterooms. In fact, 10% of our inventory is inside staterooms. Somebody actually at an agency yesterday said that they have clients who book inside staterooms for their luggage when they do world voyages. So some people like it to sleep in, other people use it for different reasons. But um, the living room, Main, main social area, great for uh, afternoon tea. We also do tapas and wine. Um, it is also a fantastic uh, place to meet after dinner. Between the, um, the entertainment of the live band that switches over to the DJ services later on in the evening, it is the main hub. Talking about food and cruise ships, they go hand in hand. Our main dining room is Discoveries. All of our restaurants, um, with the exception of the specialty dining restaurants, are open seating, meaning you can dine when you want, with whomever you want, a table for two, a table for 10. We are happy to do that. Discoveries is linen tablecloth service. It is also breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There is a bar right before you enter uh, Discovery. So if you want to have a pre-dinner drink, meet some new friends, it is a great place to do that. The patio and windows are our outdoor dining, um, basically buffet style during breakfast and lunch. In the evening, it does turn into tableside service. And it's great for when you're in those warmer tropics to have that al fresco dining experience in the evening. Prime C is Steakhouse, and it is a specialty dining area. It is $35 per person. It's a four course meal, including wine. Um, and it is something that I would say book early. They're very, very popular. So if you're celebrating a special anniversary or a landmark birthday, you want to book these uh, dining rooms early. Prime C is Steak, Aquilina, Seafood Italian, and they are intimate. They are incredible service and the food is just top notch. As I say, the heart and soul of our brand is our crew. Um, they have been to many of the ports. They are willing to share their experiences with you. They are fun. They are welcoming. And we do literally say the first time you come on board, you may be a guest, but after that, you are considered family. The main focus of our brand is the late night and overnight stays. I love these pictures because it shows the ship in the evening and it shows how close to the ports we are able to get. So whether or not we can get in close to the port, whether or not we need to tender in close to the destination or uh, coming back in 23, we hope to have our shuttle service available as well. So we do country intensive voyages, whether or not it is South Africa, we're going to touch on that, we're going to touch on Greece, but keep in mind 
find that because we go all throughout the world, we also have Japan, South America, um, West Africa, and Asia as, as well. So I told you I would talk about getting close to the heart of the destination. This is one of our itineraries coming out in um, 2023. It is France intensive. It starts in Southampton. You will notice that there are late night ports. We have three overnight stays. And one of these overnight stays is in the town of Bordeaux. So when most cruise lines go into Bordeaux, they will dock in La Rochelle, which is just north of Bordeaux, whereas our nice little vessel of 30,000 gross tons, we go right down the Gendron River into the heart of Bordeaux. And what that means is that you are arriving into the heart of the city where you can experience this majestic city by day as well as by night. And then perhaps the next day go and tour some of the wine regions in the area. Um, I just saw on Facebook uh, clients of ours that have been in Bordeaux and have done wine tastings at two of the wine regions. Um, so it is fantastic, not only that we get so close, but that we stay so long and you can relaxingly visit these destinations. So in 23, we have um, over 20 voyages that go into Greece. The thing I love about Greece is they were the first country to welcome cruising back. Um, we do Greece, as I say, like no, no one else. This itinerary will be starting in um, uh, not Venice. It will be um, Bologna, but we will be going from there to Corfu. We have late night stays in several of the ports, and we're going to just highlight some of those ports now. So the, this itinerary is um, going into Mykonos, as well as Rhodes, where we have um, beautiful stays here. So Mykonos is cobblestones, um, artisans shopping. It is considered the Ibiza of Greece, and it is a must do when you go. It's one of those iconic sites. Rhodes really is a, um, a beautiful town, lots of cathedrals. The, the shorelines are beautiful. Um, when we go into Kusadasi, which is Ephesus, is the main area here. Marble stone streets. We actually um, have one of our as amazing evenings in Kusadasi, um, well, it's actually in Ephesus. Marble streets, um, it used to be the second largest city in the Roman Empire. So lots of history and culture. Santorini is one of those iconic places that you also must go to. And I love that when we go to Santorini, we have a late night departure. Sometimes we leave at 10 p.m. On this particular sailing, we leave at 8 p.m. But it is nice because a lot of the ships that go into Santorini want to leave around the dinner hour. And if you do that, you miss the incredible sunsets. So there's nothing like sitting in Franco's bar, overlooking the uh, caldera as the sun sets. And it is a fantastic thing. So the ship sails um, into Fira. You can either take the donkey ride, the funicular, or you can walk up. So you can take your time coming up. But if the ship leaves at the dinner hour and all the ships are leaving at the same time, you must decide early how you're going to get down to avoid the lineups. Whereas when we're there, you can relax. By the time you get back to the funicular, you're the only people there and you feel like you've had the island to yourself um, for a several, several hours on your own. So it is really terrific. I was fortunate enough to go to South Africa this past year. Um, Cape Town is like nothing I've experienced. The people so warm and friendly, um, the food, probably the best I've ever had in all facets between seafood, um, steak, pasta, um, Asian flair. So it is a great mix of Asian, African and European cuisine. This itinerary, we've got six ports, it's 12 nights, and we overnight in Cape Town on the return. Um, so this itinerary is on the journey. It is in February of 2023. Um, a beautiful itinerary and the focus of this itinerary is really getting to dive into that South, South African um, culture which is as I say wine, food, and friendly people. 
Um, some of the highlights in South Africa, of course, are the Cape of Good Hope, which interestingly enough is not the most southern tip of South Africa, but it is where everybody's got to go and get their pictures taken. Um, it is where the um, it is the southern, southwesternmost point of South Africa. And of course, we had to go there and get our photos taken. It is also world renowned for its wine. And I could not believe how affordable the wine was in South Africa. So you can do cycling tours of, of it. You can go to Table Mountain. The views are spectacular. Um, of course, the marketing and the gold markets are, are fantastic there as well. What you need to do if you go to South Africa is do a pre or post voyage experience with Mikado. And the one that I'm featuring today is the wild wonders of the world, including Victoria Falls and the Botswana Safari. So this goes from um, Johannesburg. So it either starts or ends in Johannesburg with a flight to Victoria Falls and the uh, Kobe Game Reserve. So the, um, the beautiful thing about the Victoria Falls are um, just the, the majesty of the falls. So we are there for two days, um, staying in a beautiful resort. It starts with a sunset cruise on the Zambezi River. Uh, Kobe National Park is the home of the largest elephant population. There is a leopard um, lepers there as well, but it's a great opportunity to see the big five. Um, what is included on your five night pre journey. It includes the Victoria Falls Hotel, which is minutes from the falls, a two, two and a half hour sunset cruise on the Zambezi River. There is um, walking tours led by expert guides and the guides there, we only put six people per uh, vehicle so that everybody has a window uh, view. So you never have to worry about trying to get pictures and having those pictures blocked. And then there are two early morning and two evening game drives. So it is a fantastic experience. One of those bucket list things that you absolutely must do. And let's talk about a real bucket list experience. And this would be our world voyage. This will be on the onward starting in January of 2024. And we will be hitting the seven wonders of the world. We sell it as one, or if you can't take the 155 days, by all means, you can break it down into various different segments, varying from a uh, duration of normally around 10 days. It will be departing from Miami, traveling westward through the Suez or through the Panama Canal, going down through to South America, across the French Polynesia, New Zealand, Australia, into Asia, and then up into Europe, ending in Madrid, Spain. The segments, um, as we talk about the names of the segments, you can seriously see what the focus will be. So there's Central America, there is South America, uh, the South Pacific, um, Auckland and New Zealand, and going into Australia. Then going into um, the Vietnam, uh, Bangkok, uh, Singapore area, up through the ancient trade centers. And then we go through the Suez Canal, seeing the um, pyramids, the European gems, and then of course the, the main highlights going through Italy, ending in Barcelona, Spain. This is a wonderful package. Um, it has sold extremely well. And if you book the entire world cruise voyage, there are over $20,000 in amenities between onboard ship credits, uh, Wi-Fi packages, upgraded beverage packages, um, the ex world exclusive offers for the pre-sailing um, gala, the uh, business class airfare, and um, shipping your luggage and so on. So all of these inclusions add up to $22,000 in inclusion. So lots of amenities. Um, our regular amenities, if you were to sail with us, uh, include our As Amazing events, our white night parties, all of your gratuities, your cocktails are included. So spirits, international wines, um, international beers. We have a self-serve laundry facility on board. Once you get into Veranda Plus and Suites, there are additional amenities as well. And for sure, 
Expedia can help you walk you through what is the best choice for you as far as accommodation. If you don't have anybody specific that you want to travel with, keep in mind that we've got amazing single supplements available now until February, which is about 125% of the regular fare, which is a significant savings. Until the December 9th, we have a double upgrade. So if you always wanted to try a veranda, but weren't sure whether or not it was in your budget, now is the time to do it. You get a veranda for an indoor um, interior stateroom price or a veranda plus at an ocean view price. So this is a limited offer, but not limited to that you must book it now. You have until December 9th to take advantage of this double, double upgrade. If you are booking between now and September 30th, we have a flash sale, which includes the double upgrade offer, as well as a $500 onboard spending credit. And then, of course, whenever you book with Expedia, one of our preferred partners, we always offer you a $150 onboard shipboard credit uh, per stateroom. So that is in addition to all of the inclusions already offered. And then, of course, the Unearth the World offer with Expedia, and this is available for the month of October. Um, and do you want to take it away from here, Sean? No, that okay. you're doing good. You're okay. Doing good. <laughs> so it is. Uh, depending again on the category that you book, you will be given either an additional $500 for a suite, $400 for a veranda, or $300 for an ocean view. And that is available until the 31st of October. So on that, I'm gonna just leave you with our uh, slogan, which is change the way you see. We really do hope that you enjoy the Asimar experience, diving into culture, experiencing the destination as it should be experienced. That was gr great. And like, we've all missed so much the last 24 months. We've missed weddings and funerals and family gatherings and holidays. Let's make the most of every trip Let's not go back and do the same the same cruises that we that we've been you know doing for years. Let's try try something new. Let's try something amazing. Let's you know try a world cruise. There's I'm, um, <laughs> we're throwing it out there, son. So let's see who. Yeah, it is it is a fantastic. I've got a couple of um, of these bookings, and it is so exciting to talk to people about it and all of the things that they're going to see, the seven wonders of the world. And as you said, you know, we've been saving for the last two years um, because we haven't been able to travel. So now is the time to make up that, make Absolutely. up that and uh, no regrets, right? Absolutely. Leave it on the table. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, joining us. Thank you for, um, thank you for uh, walking us uh, through your brand and um reach out to us. We want to be your travel agent. We want to help you create memories and fulfill dreams. And that's what we're, we're about. So thank you very much for joining us. You do us. a great job at it, Sean. You really do. So um, wishing you all the best. Same to you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.